happy Victoria Day. Today is Queen Victoria's birthday, or a close facsimile of Queen, Queen Victoria's birthday. Uh, anyways, it's a holiday Monday, and I'm going for breakfast with some friends, like I do every holiday Monday. Victoria Park looks like it's got something on it. Oh, we had an adequate breakfast. I really messed up the orders. Looking across here, I think I know what it is. Uh, this thing that's happening in Park, I think it's Food Truck Festival, which is a new festival in the recent years to promote food trucks. Making pasta. I had a helper, but since she had to go watch TV and troll movies on. <sighs> now I've got pasta everywhere. Yum. This will be uh, good. It's just take a few minutes to cook. And they're all floaty or al dente. Al dente. Yeah, it's already al dente because it's just fresh. But you can tell when they're done. They don't taste uncooked. They should taste cooked. Well, this is a pile of uh, noodles we made. So we're not going to eat all these. So we'll put them in a bowl and some saran wrap on top and that'll keep for a day or two. So this first batch is done. They've been in less than two minutes. Oh yeah. Show them in shorter. Forgot about that. Yeah. I put the noodles in. I've already cooked the batch. Really? Yeah. Can I just... Yeah, they're yours. Get a bowl. Ooh! Can I take... They're mine? Yeah. I can put them in? Yep, put them in the bowl. So this is how it's turned out. It's delicious. Yeah. Nice and soft. Well, soft. Still a little chewy. I've used olive oil and black pepper and parmesan. Delicious. Mm. I'm I'm out in the garage scrubbing a measuring tape. Neighbors using their blowers on. Gonna record in here for a minute. I've got our tent out in the backyard. It's our eight man tent. It's a roots tent. And uh, I've got to make sure it's working for uh, a little trip that Jasmine's going on, uh, her and her class. It looks like I might have to uh, sew in a new zipper because uh, the zippers, it's coming apart. So I'm gonna measure and I think I'll go to Lens tomorrow and get some, get a new zipper. Uh, let's go measure that. the problem. It's coming apart, the threading in here. The weave is breaking. It's 
fly is huge. Anyways, I think I'll get Jasmine to rip this no. this out. Yeah, Jazzy? No. Yeah, your class broke it. You guys can fix it. Cut the zipper off instead of pulling the seam. Okay, I've got my my uh, zipper thing figured out. Just gotta grab some zipper and uh, sew it in. Now I'm trying to figure out my outboard. This is the cowl I painted. I can't figure out. I gotta look online and see what the configuration is for these stickers. So I think it does something like that, and then these. Yeah, these are these. So I think it's something like this uh, configuration. And then the little pony thing on the front and the back. There's the back one, or front one. Or I think maybe they're just on the back. Yeah, they are just in the back. I got that off of eBay, that uh, sticker pack. I think I paid like $10 American for it, but that was a number of years ago uh, when I first got this motor. So it's been sitting here. I didn't know that it was a, a Sailmaster or yeah, Sailmaster motor. So this is just the generic uh, Johnson stickers. I looked online and I saw the sale. Uh, master stickers I could get for it, but it's, it's over a hundred dollars Canadian. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the ten dollar ones. They look new. The little one and I are off on a hike in the woods. This is behind the seminary, just down by the river. We're gonna see if we can find our friend the, the beaver. There's a bit of water in here. And uh, if there's water in here, there's probably a reason somebody's made a dam. Somebody's been nibbling on trees here. It's our friend the beaver. <laughs> it's a pretty good sized tree. We're down by the river. Yeah, you know club is that way. There's the seminary. This river goes right through downtown. Yeah, it's pretty. All kinds of birds, Twitter and jazz. Seem pretty happy. Out in nature, watching the ducks go by. Right on cue they were. Listening to somebody with a palm sander across the, uh, the river. There's an apartment building. We're in nature. Oh, we're in nature. It's an interesting a combination of being on the riverside and having condos along the riverside too. Photo shoot time for Jasmine. Okay, we'll send Grandma and Grandpa these. The particularly rooty section of the trail. I love it. It's eroded from the spring floods. It's like it's like springy. Yeah, those are roots. That's what roots look like under the dirt. Hey, look in there. We were on the bike path. Now we're gonna go cross country again. It's less windy in the woods, or it's pretty windy on the path. It's a chilly day, too. So, back into the woods. And you can make it time lapse? Yep. No, I'm just going to speed it up. I hear a tree toad.
Here's the Andrew Cat. Here's my zipper that I've removed. I cut it off uh, instead of pulling the stitches. It's a lot more work to uh, re-sew the, uh, the flap, the weather flap of the tent. Uh, so I'm just going to sew in a new zipper. Hey, look at that kitty. Mm -hmm. Farm. <laughs> well, Jazzy and I had a really nice walk uh, down by the Thames. And I don't know how far we went. I should check and see. Hang on a second. So my phone it records how far I walk in. It says we walked a little over four miles. Well, which is pretty good. Why not? You know, get out, get some exercise. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Please click clicky things, and uh, we'll be back at this uh, sometime soon. Uh, just not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're taking a trailer load or a couple of trailer loads of stuff to the dump for my buddy Mick. Thanks.